feels like it's coming out of is an immense accomplishment. Here we go. Game number one, Shadow Quagsire for out of pocket versus Ashton Ashes Annihilate. And we are going to see both trainers stick it out in this match. Are we going to see a catch? Are we going to see some charge attacks fire? We see the Quagsire first is going to try to soften up this Annihilate in the lead matchup. I'm sure out of pocket is thankful to see this Annihilate in the lead. It avoids is Vigoroth in the back. Yeah, Vigoroth looking very scary for the rest of Ash and Ash's team. If it gets lined up against that Lickitung, it's going to spell disaster. <gasps> oh, that is an attack boost for that Annihilate, that low percent chance of it happening is going to really increase the amount of damage these counters do. Yeah, so we see Out of Pocket make a quick pivot to the charge bug. You can see the Volt switches go, but Ash and Ash has two already boosted attacks ready to go. This could really solidify a game one for Ash and Ash. We see Out of Pocket forced to shield, and then another attack fires. If this knocks out, out of pocket. We'll have to see. Let's go. The it's only a Night Slash. Out of pocket knows it. The Volt Switch here applies, and the Annihilate goes down. And it certainly showed its worth in that opening matchup. Here comes the Lickitung coming in. Really smart call here from Ashton Ash, recognizing that out of pocket could have that Vigoroth in the back. Lickitung really great at sponging up, soaking up this energy. It's going to be able to very comfortably survive three X scissors, so I'd be surprised to see Ashton Ash shield up any of these charge attacks. Yes, allowing Lickitung to soak up that energy from the charge bug and allowing the, just really being a sponge, a big golden yellow sponge for all of that energy. We're gonna see then out of pocket after expending that energy, bring in the vigor off, and here is the Shadow Whiskash. Each trainer only has, having one protect shield left in the bank. Simultaneous swap there. Neither trainer wanting their opponent to get ahead on energy. Body Slam going to be a little bit slower than Mod Bomb, but Ash Nash in instead going for that harder hitting Scald here. A 30% chance to land that attack debuff, and it does not come through. No, that is going to be so much more infrequent in this season of Shared Skies. We are going to see Out of Pocket bring in that Body Slam. It will connect. The Whiskash is low, getting lower on health. The Vigoroth has a shield remaining, but that Whiskash has a lot of energy. Nearly two mud bombs loaded. First one going shielded out of pocket in dire straits here, needing to attempt to catch, but no! A charge attack tie. Vigorath's attack stat going to allow it to win this charge attack tie. The Whiskash is going down, and there we can see the Legaton coming in. It is very low on health. Is it going to be able to get to two attacks? There it is. The Body Slam is going to knock out the Shadow Quagsire. There is, however, still, I believe, that Vigoroth and that Charger Bug very low on health. One counter is going to knock out Ash to see potentially do well with Lantern exiting the meta. Again, no Lantern on either team here. We do see a Vigoroth into a Whiskash, and a Again, out of pockets, Vigoroth is avoiding the Annihilate on the side of Ash Nash. It's really tricky from out of pocket here. The previous game, Ash Nash had led that Annihilate. Now, expecting a different lead from Ash Nash. Out of pocket feeling very safe leading this Vigoroth, and it's going to outpace this scal uh, the Scalds coming in from the Whiskash, but instead, an immediate swap, similarly to the previous game, going into a Pokemon that risks resists that counter damage. Ashton Ash perhaps seeing that out of pocket is going to be leaning on this Vigoroth. Vigoroth leaves the Lickitung on the bench this time, opting for the charge of bug instead against this the counter user of Vigoroth. We are going to see here Shadow Quagsire going for a Stone Edge, hoping to maybe score a knockout, but no, it is going to bounce off the shield of Ashton Ash. Ashton Ash down a shield early in the matchup, however, has a lot of energy on this charger bug, one X scissor will knock the Shadow Quagsire out. X scissor is shielded up. It looks like the next Stone Edge will come before the next X scissor from the charger bug. Ashton Ash having to make another decision. Do I want to try to win switch advantage or do I want to let this charger bug go? One more X scissor loaded. It's looking really close to see who would pace to the final charge attacks here. 
That X Scissor is going to bounce right off of that Protect Shield. We see Out of Pocket swap into his own Charge Bug. Ashton Hash answering with this low health Whiskash. The Whiskash gets to fire this Mud Bomb first. It is going to do some neutral damage to the Charge Bug, taking it down to around half health. But this Whiskash is getting really low on health. There are no Protect Shields remaining in this matchup. Out of pocket is loaded on energy. Charger Bug has significantly more energy than a singular X Scissor, and there's really no Pokemon in the back that really wants to take this energy. It's going to be an additional Volt Switch sneaking through, not a charge attack tie. I don't think this X Scissor quite threatens a knockout, but it's really close. Oh, leaving the Charger Bug down in the red. He throws one more Volt Switch. That was risky, but out of pocket, maybe relying on his Charger Bug, knowing how much it can take, throws the Axe Scissor. It doesn't knock out. I don't, uh, they, there is actually energy on both Pokemon there, but the Charger Bug able to launch the Axe Scissor. This will knock out the Shadow Quagsire, and it's all down to an unfortunate matchup in the end. It's going to be Annihilate versus Figueroa. You could see out of pocket wincing during that matchup. That was painful for him to- Advantage, and you can get your Pokemon in the wrong spot. At Who the end. is going to gain the control as in this winner's finals and take an advantage. We are tied up one to one. We see the Shadow Alolan Sandslash come off the bench and the Charger Bug is ready to fire some neutral energy here with that discharge. Shadow Alolan Sandslash not exactly known for its defenses all the way down to the red. And I love this lead from Ashton Ash. A game after that Vigoroth was shut out, leading the Pokemon that's going to be weakest to it going to provide him a great opportunity to win this lead matchup and go into a potential further matchup and deal additional charge attack damage that might pr uh, might prove useful later. The Shadow Quagsire coming in, trying to get some farm, but Ash and Ash swaps out into the Charge Bug. Charge Bug can do a lot of neutral damage with these X Scissors, but so can Shadow Quagsire with Aqua Tail. Can also threaten a powerful knockout with a Stone Edge. Ash and Ash shielding, but it was only the Aqua Tail. We're going to see that Shadow Quagsire build up to another Stone Edge. Out of pocket has two shields. Will he expend one here to protect this powerhouse of a Quagsire? No, he knows he can tank one X Scissor, but not two. We are at the Stone Edge. Does Ashton Ash think, is it an Aqua Tail? Is it a Stone Edge? Shields the Stone Edge. The Charger Bug stays on the field. Very different from the previous game where Out of Pocket went straight Stone Edge, this time throwing Aqua Tail, then Stone Edge, allowing him to pace more quickly than these X Scissors. X Scissor coming through, going to be shielded up. Will Out of Pocket be able to land another Stone Edge before a third X Scissor? Yes! He will! This Stone Edge is powerful. The Quagsire is a shadow. That's a 20% boost to an already super effective attack. The Charger Bug goes down. I imagine we are going to see the timer run out before the Whiskash comes in. However, Out of Pocket is ready. He has the Cresselia in the back with that super effective Grass Knot. Without a Grass-type Pokemon on his team, Grass Knot is the coverage that Out of Pocket needs. It's going to be crucial here how Ash Nash plays the rest of this matchup out. Grass Knot into Whiskash will be a one-hit knockout from this health, and it does land, unable to catch, unable to maneuver around with that Shadow Alolan Sand Slash in the back, and that is the one-hit KO. Ashton Ash conceding the match, saying, out of pocket, you have outmaneuvered me and has already gone to the drawing board. You can swim two more games. Let's take a look and see. And this could be it. This could be the decisive battle. Shadow cracks out into Mantine. Mantine typically walls off the Mud Boys, especially Pokemon that do not run rock type moves. But Shadow Quagsar has this advantage over its counterparts of Shadow Whiskash as well as Shadow Swampert. It runs Stone Edge. Yes, and Stone Edge is a powerful and threatening attack, and it is going to land on Ashton Ash's Mantine. That has got to hurt. The Charger Bug comes in, but Ashton Ash switches it out, not wanting to lose the Mantine quite yet. Now we are in a very neutral matchup of Charger Bug versus Lickitung. Lickitung can tank so many of these X Scissors and Volt Switches. Lickitung just trying to slowly whittle away at the health with this one-turn fast attack of Lick and is going to be throwing two bodies 
body slams into this charge bug. Charge bug can handle one, but two is going to be tight. It's a bit of a peculiar play. Instead of using your safe switch of Vigoroth, going in with the Charger Bug, maybe trying to utilize that Vigoroth as a closer with a super effective hit of Rock Slide into a Pokemon that he expects to see in the back. Out of pocket, making a read. I don't expect Annihilate. Let's see, we see the Body Slam that is not going to connect. It is going to bounce right off the shield. Charger Bug paces to a move first. Is Ash and Ash going to let the Lickitung go? It seems like it. X's are going to take the knockout and with the cost of one shield out of pocket, able to retain switch advantage as well as a significant amount of health on that Shadow Crag Sire in the back. Now we see Charger Bug versus Charger Bug. Out of pocket, Charger Bug is going to be able to fire in attack first. Ashton Ash still has two protect shields, but knows this Charger Bug is able to pace to a move, revealing the final Pokemon, revealing the Vigoroth. The Vigoroth doesn't even need to go for the Rock Slide. These counters are going to start adding up, even though resisted, and it just really needs to go for the Body Slams here. Body Slam almost enough to threaten a knockout at this point, but there is still that man team in the back, Ashton Ash has the ability to make a catch. Ashton Ash does have some energy left on that Mantine, so exactly how he utilizes it will be key in this match. Yes, but out of pocket, not available to make a catch at this point. He still has about 30 seconds left on that switch timer. The Vigoroth is locked in, but out of pocket has been dialed in all day. Ashton Ash switching in the Mantine gets a snipe. The Vigoroth is gone. Really key there, had Ashton Ash stayed in the charge bug, the four turn bolt switch would have allowed out of pocket to reach another bot's body slam. Switching into the two turn uh, fast attack from that man team, able to pick up the knockout. Volt switch into Volt switch, who will the charge attack tie here? No, Ashton Ash goes for an additional Volt switch. Yes, this was not a charge attack priority tie. Ash and Ash threw another Volt Switch into the uh, charge bug in order to have it faint after the Protect Shield went up. Ash and Ash is going to throw an X-Scissor. This is going to be close. It does just about that much damage. Will the Quagsire be able to survive? It does. It hangs on one Volt Switch going through, able to pick up the knockout. Oh. Cresselia making just one appearance, but here it is going to make another one in the lead matchup. Ash and pulling that Annihilate away, bringing in the Shadow Alolan Sandslash as a swap. That is a brave call. How frequently do we see a safe swap Pokemon that is two times weak to counter Aqua Tail? Importantly, going to be outpacing Ice Punch here in the long run, and Aqua Tail going to do meaningful neutral damage into this Alolan Sandslash. Ash and Ash must be confident that that Vigoroth was not in the back because that would have spelled disaster. But at least here, the Shadow Alolan Sandslash can do a significant amount to that Shadow Quagsire before fainting. Out of pocket, securing the knockout. The Shadow Quagsire awaiting its opponent. Will it be the Lickitung? Will it be the Annihilate? And it's so funny. Ash and Ash built this team around pulling out the Vigoroth. Leading the Vigoroth answer, switching in one Pokemon weak to it, and saving Lickitung in the back. But out of pocket just didn't even bring the Vigoroth. It's nowhere to be seen. But what we can see right here is that Cresselia doing super effective damage with Psycho Cut, slowly starting to whittle away at the Annihilate. But Ash and Ash going for that super effective Shadow Ball. Out of pocket doesn't shield. That hurts. Nothing really can one shot at Cresselia, but that's about as close as you can get. Out of pocket is not out of this yet. Cresselia hitting back with a hard landing moon blast and switching into his charge bug. We've seen it before. Charger bug has some play into Lickitung, especially if it's up a health advantage like this. We are going to start seeing these X scissors fly into the Lickitung. It is getting lower and lower on health. All protect shields remain in this match. And these trainers, you can't take it with you into the losers finals. These shields are going to need to start to be utilized, perhaps wading into that back matchup. You can see that the switch timers are slightly misaligned. We can Ash and Ash a little bit closer to being able to make a catch, but I don't know if the Lickitung is going to stick around that long. It's going to come to how, uh, come down to how many Volt Switches are able to knock out this Lickitung and how quickly that Switch Clock is up. It's actually up right now, switching into the Annihilate. Will Ash and Ash be able to reach a Night Slash here? 
going for it, going over. Witch Trainer is going to pounce first. It is Ash and Ash going for the Night Slash, pulling a shield from out of pocket. Ash and Ash with a bit of the shake of the head. I don't think this is what he wants. Annihilate being a little bit less bulky than the Lickitung, not able to take the onslaught of bolt switches, and it is looking like Ash and Ash is conceding. This is going to be game number five, going to out of pocket, going to the grand finals. Out of pocket, look at that celebration on the stage. We know that Mama Pocket